I'll kill you! I'll kill you to death! Yes, that's what killing you means. Welcome to Five Points of Articulation, where I review action figures and then articulate five points to help you decide if you want to add that figure to your collection. The five points I discuss are packaging, presentation, posability, playability, and price. I'm Jason, and if you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube rigmarole. Today, we're going to look at the DC Multiverse Infinite Crisis Superboy Prime. Superboy Prime comes from an alternate Earth where all the DC heroes are comic books, and he's aware that he is a comic book character. Hmm, I wonder if he's aware of this review. Oh, believe me, I'm aware. Oh, Okay, starting off the packaging, and unless this is your first McFarlane DC Multiverse, this should all seem pretty typical. This isn't anyone's first DC Multiverse figure. Just get to the chase. Okay, for packaging, I'm giving Superboy Prime one whole point. Moving on to presentation, and Superboy Prime stands at just over 7 inches. At a quick glance, this is actually a very faithful representation of Superboy Prime's look from the comics. There are some McFarlaneizations, but overall, there's a lot to love. Coming to the top, though, and we see the one thing that I I don't love the side eye. If your action figures are nothing more than statues on a shelf, it doesn't really matter. But if you like to pose them in dioramas or also for action figure photography, it really gets in the way. McFarlane, please stop. Aside from that, I absolutely love this head sculpt. And putting it side by side the Action Comics 1000, it really does look like it could be a younger version of the same guy. Flipping him around, and the other thing that I really love is that they chose not to overdo his cape. Don't get me wrong, McFarlane toys are great at texturing their capes to make it look like fabric, but sometimes they really overdo it. This is not only kind of a refreshing change of pace, but it also goes better with Action Comics 1000. In fact, if you look at the sculpt, Superboy Prime is actually a mirror image of this one. It's a small visual cue that lets you know that this is the opposite of any Superman that you know or love. The black and red logo is yet another indication. Some scuffing on mine, unfortunately, which is actually really kind of bothering me. Moving on down, we have the big old shoulder armor and tubes. This is a pretty firm plastic, but it doesn't get in the way of articulation. But of course, more on that during posability. We do, however, have this softer tube going into the gauntlet. Of course, we have the McFarlane wrist balls, which aren't as bad as usual, though I do still really hate this way of doing it. Do you have a problem with my balls? Uh... Moving on, for a presentation, I'm giving Superboy Prime one whole point. Moving on to posability, and this figure actually kind of surprises me. Starting from the top, and his head's on a dumbbell joint, looks down just fine, but between the hair and the shoulder piece, you cannot get him to look up, which for a flying character is kind of unfortunate. That being said, he's got enough tilt to make Michael Myers jealous, and all the way around. As I pointed out during presentation, he's got this big old rigid shoulder piece, and yet, it does not impede articulation at all. As you can see here, he actually gets over 90 degrees, front and back with a rotator cuff, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. They are unfortunately a bit hindered by the armor. And again, the McFarlane wrist balls. Here we go talking about my balls again. <clears throat> they swivel and hinge. Moving on down, he has a diaphragm joint and it's wonderfully well hidden by these hoses. He also has a barbell joint in the waist. Utilizing both, he can arch back that far. Here's what he'd look like flying, which is honestly pretty impressive. And he can hunch over that far. Below the waist, he has a typical McFarlane ratchet hips. Pretty much a perfect split. They also allow for a small amount of swivel. And then of course, he's got double jointed knees. They chose to hide it in this sort of wedge-like seam line. From the front, it kind of looks a little bit weird, but when standing straight, it's actually hidden really well. And of course, moving all the way down, he has a typical McFarlane ankle bar articulation. They are pretty well hidden by the boot. They can hinge back, yeah, not much, but they can hinge forward a fair bit, bit of swivel, and toe articulation. When I saw the shoulder armor and the tubes and the big boots, I'm not gonna lie, I had a pretty bad feeling about this figure. Getting the figure in hand, however, and I was very pleasantly surprised. In terms of quality action figure engineering, Superboy Prime is a prime example. Ugh! I suppose you thought that was very clever. Yes, I did. For posability, I'm giving Superboy Prime one whole point. Before we continue, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button to help more people see this video. You know they hate when you ask them that. Really? Yeah. Just look at your analytics. Every time you ask them, the video dips. How do you know my analytics? I know everything. Moving on to playability, and Superboy Prime comes with a flight stand. He also comes with a trading card. And if you want to read what it says, pause here. And now let me guess. You're going to bellyache that I don't come with alternate fists. I mean, I, I was gonna. But playability is more than just accessories. It's also about how well your figure plays with others. Blah, blah, blah. We've heard it a million times. Um, sorry? 
Anyway, for a comparison to the only other official Superboy figure I seem to have, here he is with the DC Universe Classics 90s version. That being said, the more slender proportions of the DC Essential Superman makes him a pretty good classic Superboy, so that's where I use him in my collection. And even here, there's some pretty striking similarities between the faces. And again, bringing back the Action Comics 1000, it really does feel like this could be a younger version of this. I love the sculpt, and they definitely go together, but gee willikers, is Superboy Prime too big? For a Superman villain comparison, here he is with Lex Luthor and Bizarro. And while we're here, here he is with a couple of different versions of Wonder Woman and Batman. For a movie style comparison, here he is with Cavill. And since he's worn the black suit in the comics, here he is with the black suited Snyder Cut Superman. I'm holding him by hand because unfortunately his foot broke off. If you're curious what a head swap would look like, here you go. The head's too small, the neck's too long, and the color is definitely off. But while we're here, if you're curious what Cavill's head would look like on that body, here you go. And let me guess, here comes Pizza Spidey and Spectacular Spider-Man. For relative scale comparison, here he is between Pizza Spidey and the spectacular Spider-Man. And of course, that only means one thing. Here comes your pathetic little stealth Iron Man running gag. And of... Uh, uh, hmm. So predictable. For a character who famously punched his way through the walls of the multiverse, I really do wish that this Superboy came with some fists. Still, as a hero turned villain turned kinda hero again, Superboy Prime has a storied history and a lot of characters you can put him with. So for playability, I'm giving Superboy Prime one whole point. This leaves us with nothing left to discuss but the price, okay, fast forward. Superboy Prime will set you back 1999. <laughs> Fine, I'll wrap it up. For price, I'm giving Superboy Prime one whole point for a grand total of five out of five. Seriously, no one's watching. Yes, they are. In fact, you guys can prove it. If you're still watching this video, do me a favor and leave me a comment letting me know that you're still watching. Help me to prove this little snot-nosed upstart wrong. Really? Sounds to me more like you're just trying to drive engagement. Get out of my mind or I'll kill you! I'll kill you to death! And now you get it. For some other Superman related videos, you could click here. I don't really care. Still, it would make the chump behind the camera happy. He'll be back again real soon, so play nice and have fun. Or not.